Hello, hello everybody. How are we doing? Welcome to Let's Play on Miles. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Um, here in the UK at the moment, the weather is fantastic. Um, being able to get out in it. Um, and obviously now back inside with studio lights, headset on, back in the darkness of VR. But the game that we're going to be having a look at today is incredibly colourful. So colourful, in fact, I realised after playing such a dark game the other day, I can turn up the gamma to make it a bit more balanced like that. So how are we doing, chat? Good to see you all here. We've got, oh, we've actually got Knock here. Uh, we've got Robin, we've got Roy. I saw that we had Tom as well. Um, listen, I'm just going to start off by saying this game I am in love with. And I'm so excited to be uh, showing you it today. Um, Knock in simple terms, and I'm sure the devs don't like this comparison being made again and again. For me, this is Robin Hood meets Rocket League. You're in a stadium um, and you're flying about the place. You keep trying to hit the ball and you're trying to score as many goals as you can in the allotted time. Um, the way that this is going to work is I'm going to go into a tutorial so I can show you some of the game mechanics. And then I'm just going to go into quick play and show you some matches, uh, which means that if any of you have got a game and want to play along, uh, you are welcome to. But this has been out for quite a while now, I believe, on Quest and other headsets. Um, but it's been out on PSVR 2 uh, for about two days now. I've had it, fortunately, for about five days, thanks to the team at Normal who uh, developed this. It is a small development team, and I can't stop playing it. So much so that... My arms are killing. <laughs> they are aching right now. And uh, just before presenting PSVR without parole games cast live on Friday night, I was playing until about five, about 15, 10 minutes before we went live. Um, so I had major VR hair and uh, I had to uh, put on um, a Pokemon cap to, to cover it. Um, but it's really great to see lots of people in the chat. Many people I've actually played with. And uh, something else I just want to say about this game is the community is amazing. So supportive. And, um, you know, if you do go into competitive modes and you end up playing against these Quest players that have had it for a while and they start dancing all around you, it's very intimidating. But once they smell that you're new to this, um, nine times out of ten, uh, they will stop and, and start giving tips and stuff like that. So it's really, really great. So, without further ado, let's get some tunes on. Uh, this is the intro hub, and what's really good about the intro hub is you have the ball over there that you can hit, and this is my character. And something I love about this is when you jump, <laughs> your character does as well. Um, so, let's have an introduction, shall we? And if you are in the chat right now or watching it on replay, do hit the like button. It helps us out. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please do subscribe uh, and ring the bell. I do a Let's Play every weekend, primarily in the world of PlayStation VR. But on Wednesdays, which is my main show, Miles Die Live, it's just a great hangout where sometimes we have fun with quizzes and games. And other times we might talk about more serious stuff. Mental health and well-being, life hacks, world events, what have you. So, here we are. I just love the vibe of this game. It's beautiful. It's really good that they do let you know what it is because some of these shapes are pretty trippy. Well, this is the wrong hand. So fortunately, you can switch. Feels great, let's go. Just the aesthetics of everything. And it slowly introduces you to depth perception. And something really great about this 
is um, I had a friend of mine, Johnny, come over who often gets motion sick in VR games, so he needs to have click turning on uh, and sometimes maybe some vignette for when there's movement. Um, he had a go on this uh, with my settings, which has no comfort settings. It's smooth turning. Uh, there's no vignette. And he was totally fine. And he was just quite ecstatic. Like, oh my God, I get to play this you know, without any comfort settings. And he's having an absolute blast. I'll explain those blocks in a moment. And now we have a go. I was actually going to have um, text-to-speech in my ears for this um, today, but I actually couldn't find my AirPods. They're in the house somewhere, and I was in a bit of a rush. So, to my left, I do have a screen big, so I can see that. Um, honestly, lots of people in the chat, Nox in the chat, so if you do have any questions about the game, do ask, because this community totally kicks ass. I love it, and it's why I'm going to be spending endless hours in this game, like I have already. So... That was obviously the bow and arrow mechanics. Now it's about moving around. So you basically slide. So with your bow hand, you pull yourself around. And you've got to move here. So you're skating around. There's so many things I want to show you on this live stream today, I can't wait. And it's not a load of skill. So with your um, arrow hand, if you use the grip button, as this character is kindly showing us now, you can go up in the air. And if you hold the grip again, I do believe it slows down your descent. And you can double jump, which it's not letting me do yet because we're just learning. Now the other thing is you have these blocks, like that. As you can see, it's good for blocking. I'll tell you what, doing stuff on a live stream is way more nerve-wracking, should I? Do I want to make a fool of myself? And I'm going to be doing lots of silly misses on this. That will be on the internet forever. Here we go, so blocks. So to place a block, after you uh, f throw the arrow up or wherever, you press it and it creates a block. Now blocks are great because if you can imagine you've got the ball coming in towards your goal and you're not going to get back in time, you're not going to be able to hit it so you have to put that in front of the ball to then knock it out. On the flip side, if it's going to go in the goal but it's just missing, it might deflect off it and go in, um, it's a really great mechanic. And every time you hit the ball, you'll see a plus one, although it's not appearing yet because I think it's going to tell us about it in a moment. This is how many bows we've got. And so you have to collect them from here. And then obviously these give you maxed out. But every time you hit the ball, you get an arrow back. So as long as you keep hitting it, you'll keep replenishing. And something I didn't realise until someone told me is if you put a block down and it hits it, which I think it's about to do, unless it's going to disappear. Yeah. <laughs> You'll, um, you'll get one back, see? Which means if it hits the block a few times, you can get one back for that. What am I gonna do now? I think I've just got to school. I think it'll let me double jump now. Yeah. Love the music, the vibe, 
And it was interesting because uh, I was talking on PSVR World Pro uh, Gamescast Live with Brian last night about this game and how much we love it. And he was saying, you know, there's some people on Twitter that see us going on about games like this and going, what? This is just, you know, cartoony and like, these aren't great graphics. For me, VR is all about immersion, a sense of presence, and this game definitely has it. So it doesn't have to have realistic graphics. You just have to feel present and the sort of the kinetic nature of when you get the shot, connect with the ball. And as you'll see in the matches that will start playing, it can get pretty frantic. And uh, <laughs> hopefully uh, my breathing will be at um, quiet levels, but we shall wait and see depending on who I'm playing against. So with that, um, you get a season pass on this. I love battle passes. I love things that you grind for. Oh, I can get this now. I really wanted this. So this is a block cosmetic. Um, I think that's in my loadout now. Not yet. There we go. And I'm curious to know what these two spaces are for. I'm looking in the chat to see if anyone can uh, can tell me. But um, yeah. So what we're going to do now is uh, we'll just go into some quick matches. And anyone in the chat who wants to play some quick matches, feel free. I do have voice chat turned off just because uh, whenever live streaming... Um, <laughs> Most people are super pleasant and nice, but um, obviously uh, sometimes you do find those that like to troll and spoil everything for everyone. So um, yeah, it's now loading. And what is awesome is it doesn't have to be a lobby simulator. While you're waiting for a match, you can play against a bot. You can choose the skill level. And here we go. Now, if you hit the ball twice or really hard, it will go red. And if it hits your opponent or you red, it will knock them out um, for a while. With awesome ragdoll physics. Now, on a practice, you'll notice that I'm not having to pick up arrows. And that's because it's infinite. I don't think there's actually a setting to turn on arrow depletion. That was terrible in uh, in this. But um, if I was to make one recommendation to the devs, because I know they'll be checking this out, or someone for here now, I would love it if you could, um, on the bot settings, you could uh, turn on breathing AI, and it makes the bot breathe really heavily on a mic, <laughs> like some players do. <laughs> <laughs> so you can practice playing people under the pressure of... <laughs> but I promise I have much better suggestions for this game than that. Oh man, I love that block design I've got. Now as you can see at the bottom, it's searching in quick play for all the different modes. So you have 1v1 in casual. Casual being like not ranked or anything. 2v2 and 3v3, which is... Um, I think it says it's like experimental or something at the moment. And then in competitive, you have 1v1 and 2v2. That's something we were going to try and organise for this stream, and I always like to try and do it when there are multiplayer games that come out. Oh, here we go. And I, I love it, you recognise names from people you've played before. But I was going to try and get... I don't know, hopefully that means they can't hear me, I've just uh, muted myself in case. Um, I was going to try and get a dev on the game today, but um, obviously he's very busy with the launch and stuff. So maybe it'll be something we can organise on a future one, but I'll tell you what, I was looking at my list. I've got about 40 to 50 PSVR 2 Let's Plays planned, so I might have to do more than one a week. See, I'm out, and you can hear it. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're having a good weekend, everyone, or whatever day of the weekend is when you're watching this on replay, because I know there are hundreds of you that like to. Now, one of the uh, top tips I've been told by a lot of the pros... That's going in. 
is, um, as you see, I'm using it like a proper bow and arrow. But the pros, they basically keep it down by their hip. And to stretch it as quick as they can, they literally pull their arms out like that from the waist. Which is great. Um, and it's something I will uh, learn eventually. But um, I'm going to stick with what I'm comfortable with for this stream. And I'm out. Showing. And in this game, there's been a few times where I've almost fallen over backwards. Because <laughs> you get just so into it. And I think that's in. Yeah. Now after this game, I'm going to show you a really great feature that I, to be honest, haven't seen in many VR titles. Especially on PSVR 2. And that is the social screen. So the output that would be on the TV, not the headset, or in this case on the live stream. With the power of the PS5, you're able to play this. Oh, don't know what happened to my bow and arrow there. My hand disappeared. That was weird. Um, but it means that you can actually have different cameras. So what I'll do is I will do a match with each camera angle. I can then time stamp it in the live stream. And then we can do a poll maybe and try and find out what camera angle you think looks best for live streaming. Because I haven't actually tried them all yet. Here we go. I have to say, at the moment, I'm playing very like casual. Like, I'm not really concentrating. So I'm just trying to be informative. There might be a match where we're up against it. Well, really have to start focusing. But um, yeah, I can't wait to like learn all the pro tips. But a lot of it is training up your muscle memory, getting the hang of it. to learn but that's the joy of this game it's very easy to get the hang of oh. keep it in the air because time's run out now as soon as it hits the ground it's time and you can high five people which is the hardest thing to do there we go because <laughs> everyone always skates past each other dance the music is just brilliant <laughs> spectator cams thank you knock um we'll, we'll try that now we'll do that we'll do it now so um i'll just quickly leave and what i'll do i do love the music but i know it's really loud i could probably just turn it down in the settings but um i like it loud um and what i love is on the main menu can shoot that. Um, so settings, general. No, it wasn't that. It was in extra, I think. Yeah, there you go. Spectator cam. And then, not social. Um, I know that the devs are going to be shouting at me going, no, 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 no. It's 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 there. It's there. Um, actually, I think it's when you're in game. I've done that already. Yeah. Cool. We'll go. I think it's once you're in the game. Actually, yeah, let's do it here. Oh. It's in game. Yeah, cool. Right. So, there we go. Ma spectator so what we'll do is we'll do fps fps i believe is what has it's been already but um i'll wait for the uh for knock to tell me honestly for me this is uh oh it's wider okay cool well we'll, we'll do a match with each mode and then i'll time stamp them and then we'll do a poll Right, what's this? Oh, this is competitive. Wow. So, 
what I love about this is because I don't know all the players yet. I don't know if they're going to be kicking my ass or a fair bit of competition. Okay, they haven't started building Disneyland with blocks in the air yet, so I think we're going to be alright. And when I say alright, I don't mean we're going to win, just I'm going to have a fighting chance. Because the thing is, at the moment, this game has two types of players. PSVR 2 players who are new and learning, or Quest players that have had months to play. And so when you get matched up, you're playing either <laughs> noobs or sweats. <laughs> But that will flatten out as the uh, game continues, especially after this weekend. I should have probably said also, you can. You can uh, dribble the ball by running up against it. But obviously, you've got to be careful because if they turn it red, that's going to knock you out. I'm really excited to see this FPS mode then, uh, post uh, stream. Also, a big thank you to everyone who's been subscribing lately um, because I hit 48,000 subscribers and those who are regulars will know I have a very weird story with my channel because, well firstly, today is my 17th anniversary on YouTube. 17 years ago today I started on YouTube. And what a way to celebrate. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. Oh, there's counter. But basically, I went through about five, six years where I was pretty burnt out, didn't make much content, and the last two years I've started getting back into it. But it means I have a channel that is shedding off old closed YouTube accounts from over 17 years. But also, there's some people that just don't like the content I'm doing now, and that's totally cool. You know, things change. So what it means is, that's in. Oh, thank you. Um, it means that as I'm gaining subscribers, I'm also, I'm like losing hundreds every month. And I'm gaining hundreds, but it means I'm only going up like one sub a month, which mentally can be quite disheartening. But I'm staying the course because I believe in this and um, we're building an awesome community. Speaking of which, if you're on Discord, should have been concentrating. Uh, we started a Discord uh, a few weeks ago and it's called Empathy Arcade and everyone's welcome. Here we go. Whoa. I just think how ri ridiculous I look playing this. Or do I look super cool? Right, let's counter. I'm going to start focusing now because I want to win this because it's competitive. Here we go. Oh, run out. No. Look at that. That's how you block, but not like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, we're behind now. This is not good. We got one minute forty left. Oh no. Right, let's get. Oh no. I don't want to lose this. we go. Oh no! 30 seconds left. Don't want to lose this. 
That's it. Great clearance from them. No, I'm out. That is the worst sound. <laughs> 14 seconds left. Here we go. Here we go. Damn it. Didn't keep it up. <laughs> Karina, what did you see? <laughs> that was a great game, though. Really good fun. And what I love about this is even when you're put up against people that are super tough, um, and you get, you know, wiped out 7-0 because there's a mercy rule in it that if they beat you by 7. Thank you, everyone. And look at all the stats at the end. Um, good one to look at is accuracy. It's not everything, but look at that. Tim Tim with the 65%. Really, really good. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll re and I'll change the camera angle now to another. So we did FPS. We'll now do game which I'm assuming is this one. I'm probably going to be wrong again. Oh, there we go. It's a rematch. Here we go. We can do this. Oh, I messed that up. Two obvious shots I missed. Absolutely terrible. But the thing is, that's what makes this game satisfying. Every time you hit it, the sounds. Sometimes you got to. Um, sometimes it's not. The arrow's not angled right. It, like the tracking goes off, so you have to like redo it. See so like that. I'm not sure why, but. Um, Seeing the birds in the sky. Oh. And the other thing is, like in Rocket League, you don't want them to get behind you. So you've got to be careful for counters. Sometimes blocks are just good for intimidating. Truth is, I'm never looking at how many arrows I've got because you don't really get to look. I need to get better at doing that. Oh, no, I'm out. See, they can't hear me, which is good. You never utter that out loud because then your enemies smell blood. I think once I learn to do the uh, hip shot stuff, it'll make me a much better player. I guess now's the time to not develop bad habits, just as I'm starting out in this game. Oh. And the reason it's good is you can use the block after the arrows hit it, and that's how you can get sometimes double arrows like that. Oh, I'm out. And that would have killed me. Damn it, I'm out. <laughs> Sometimes it's when you're really close to saying get into it. It's These are my favourite matches, by the way, although I don't want to speak too soon, but it's when it's nil-nil. Oh. 
took too long on that. Oh no! Whew. This is such a good workout, this game. I've actually been staying on the floor quite a lot, actually, these matches. It's the tracking's gone. <sighs> this is a great match. Ooh. Am I looking? So my tracking's going a bit. Here we go for the counter. Roll round. Ooh. That's it. That's going in. <laughs> That's it. Hit it out. No. Oh, unlucky Tim. After all that. We've only got 13 seconds left. Don't let it hit the floor. Oh no, it's out. Tim. Oh no. I'm so annoyed by that one. Uh, good game, good game. Woo. Actually, it wasn't Tim, it was on my team. It was. Uh, Another close one, right? Um, yeah, a couple of other things I would love to see the game have, and look, I appreciate it's early days yet um, with the PSVR 2 release. Is firstly, I think stats. It, there's loads more stats that would be awesome to have, like um, how many times you've knocked out opponents. Um, also, when you score a goal, it'd be awesome to like not whether it's a replay, but for it to tell you like what the distance was. Right, we're doing action now. This is the one that's going to really take you out of the zone. Um, but also, it, yeah, it'd be nice to know. And also, like, it'd be great to get, like, points for, like, assists. And also, like, if it's about to go in and you do a last-minute block, um, you know, it comes up and flashes, like, you know near miss or stuff like that you know things that just again thinking of like my time with Rocket League which I did love um, it's those moments that really add to the adrenaline because it emphasizes of like how close it was and Ooh. here we go competitive ah oh, sound chaser good to see you here play with sound chaser before Hey, Killer Artist, good to see you here. Action can kind of need to work well. We're going to see why in a minute, then. Uh-oh. Okay, watch this. This is... Sound Chaser is a classic example of someone who just builds Disneyland in the air. The, the speed of these people is unreal. I can't even keep up. <laughs> Although I did get it that time. And that. See, I'm actually learning. But I just feel like in these matches, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> Look at this. But I'm glad we're able to show a match like this. Although I don't know if action cam is going to be the best way of capturing it. <laughs> oh, wow. So the technique I've always heard is you want to keep hitting the ball because it stops your opponents from being able to line up their shot. But it also stops your teammates from doing it as well. See, I can't even... Oh, no! 
It crashed. It crashed. It crashed. Crashes happen. Totally normal. And we're going to jump straight back in. But the thing is, on that match, they didn't even need me playing. And you get to see the awesome intro. He didn't need me anyway. <laughs> no one look. <laughs> Just keeping it real. Games crash. And... Uh, to be honest, what I do like about my Let's Plays is when there are things wrong or issues. Um, oh, 3v3, this is going to be full on. Um, I'm able to give timestamps, obviously, to devs so they can look at it. Because whenever there's issues in games, they always want to be able to replicate it or at least have evidence to see exactly what went wrong. I assume my voice chat is off by default. Uh, yeah. I, I think it's on action cam again. Okay, this is more my style. Those others are going to think that I quit because I was being left behind. So tell Sound Chase of what happened. <laughs> so you can see the pacing is just so different. That's oh, great save. Crossing it. No! <laughs> I got too cocky then. I thought that was going in. <laughs> yeah, I got confused because when the game is... Uh, the default camera is called random, which means it swaps between all the different camera angles. And I got confused because when I was trying to save clips, Sometimes you're like, oh wait, I thought that was my perspective, or you know, it wasn't kind of, I wasn't quite sure about it. Oh, man. I've messed this up. Here we go. Let's see. I'm not good at multitasking. As soon as I start talking, um, here we go. Learning depth perception of like when to. Make the block appear. Okay. Going up. I need to learn how to get to the ground quick again. Someone told me if you go to the walls, you can. That's going. Ow. Wow, killed me. And what I love is, it takes a bit to get back in the game. Oh, my block knocked it in. One all. Good goal, guys. Not that they can hear me, but I'm declaring it on the record. <laughs> Setting it up for my team. I'm going to hit it. No? No? What are they doing? Oh. <laughs> One of the hardest things in this game is not to get frustrated. It's just a bit of fun. But we're now 1-0 down. 2-1 two, two, down. Oh! How did they keep that out? That was amazing. See, I got two arrows for that because I hit it. Got plus one for the arrow and then one for my block. Oh no, they're about to win. No! I'm so... I'm not happy about that one. I'm really not. Get to go and sulk. In my goal. Now, I'd like to know what cores mean. Because you've got your season pass, which is the top, which you get XP for unlocking um, 
for unlocking like um, season pass uh, cosmetics. And the other question I have is in the season pass, devs, when it says question, does that mean it's hidden? Or does it mean it's a random item? So does everyone who gets to 10, are they going to get the same cosmetic or is it randomised? Um, so those are my two questions and whatever they say in the chat, I'll, I'll, I'll relay. Um. Let's have a look at what the chat is saying. It's hidden. Okay, it's all the same. That's cool. Core is lifetime level. Okay, great. So chat, what did we think about camera angles? What was your favourite? Is it this one or is it the FPS one where it's a bit wider? Obviously it depends on how you're looking at it, but with me on camera. You like FPS. How does the movement work? I'll go through that again. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I saw the mint number on it. That's really cool. You like first person. All right, we'll go to first person. If I can. It's not let me. Maybe I have to start. Okay. Oh, it's not let me change it. I don't know if that's because we're in a match now. There we go. Ah. <laughs> Let me see if we're playing competitive or not. Here we go. So this person, I'm not judging, but I assume they're rather new to it because they're playing at quite a, a nice pace. They're not building Disneyland everywhere. So I get to... How are you finding this live stream? Has this been insightful? I mean, I'm sure you watch a lot of streamers playing this. Um, it's like the best sort of R&D, isn't it? Just seeing people enjoy it, talking about their experiences, their wish lists. I'd also like there to be cosmetics for... Um, Explosions in the goal. Again, I guess you've got to be careful that you're not taking too much from Rocket League directly. But any any cosmetic, the more cosmetics, the better, because it just adds personalization. Um, so someone in the chat was asking, Adam, I believe it was, how movement works. So whatever hand your bow is in, when you're using the grip button, you're basically skating. So you're skating across the ground. And then when you're using the one that is... On your arrow hand, the one without the bow, it puts you in the sky and you can do it twice. But as you fall down, if you want to slow, you just press the grip and it slows you down a little bit. And that's how movement works. And then I've got smooth turning on. I think I think there's click turning. I can't remember what there was by default. I've always found when it comes to click turning and smooth turning, I know it's not exactly the same, but you can do click turning with smooth turning. You know what I mean? You just got to click it like that. Um, now, I was told you can actually just climb up the walls. And, um, I need to get better at that. Let's see if I can dribble it in. Dribble, dribble, dribble. 
Going in for the header. Going in for the header. Yeah. Go! Hello, Dr. Dance. Good to see you here. No worries, no worries. If there's any other questions, um, the Knock team are in the chat, which I really appreciate them sticking around. Um, let's, let's just keep requeuing up. Any questions about this? I'm actually seeing the uh, first person. Yeah, much wider. I see it now, actually. Yeah, fire away. I like that. Oh, we got a competitive 1v1. All right, everyone. See, the thing is, it's this first ball that you know who you're up against. Are they a uh, sweat? Or, like me, are they a noob? The way he's moved already makes me think he's a sweat. Yeah, he's a sweat. Uh. <laughs> See, after that last match, it's about time I get humiliated 7-0, and that's exactly what's going to happen. But what I love is playing against these people make you a better player because I'm not going to win it, but if I can just prevent goals and keep defending... It feels really satisfying, but you know what? You're going to need arrows to do that. Okay, my my uh, breathing's probably going to increase now with this. Also, commentating while you're playing competitively is really hard because there's more intention behind what you do because you're basically declaring it. <laughs> What a goalkeeper save. Oh. Okay, let's do this. Let's counter. Yes! <laughs> this is when the game gets good, when you feel like you're up against it. My little supporters in the chat hopefully supporting me and not him. Them. No. That's always going to happen now. <laughs> I play better when I'm down. I've absolutely screwed that up. guys it's not about um first to seven it's the mercy is like if you're seven ahead come on let's bring this back No. 
way there. I left, I left them wide open then. Oh, I'm out. Shit. He smells blood. Now I can counter. Oh, sometimes when it bounces right up in the air. No! Yes! Oh man. I love this game. And I'm not just saying that because I'm winning. It's the thrill. It's playing great people around the world in a virtual space. Like, I feel like I'm here, you know? For me, there are a few games that are must-haves on PSVR 2. Beat Saber is obviously on that list now. For me, unless you absolutely hate sports or anything physical like this, if there's any part of you going, I think I might like this, and I should probably concentrate, you've got to pick it up. You've got to pick it up. No! No! Oh my god, what an idiot. Going airborne. Right, focus again, Miles. Stop talking to the chat. I've let in such easy ones. Not taking away credit, because it's all about making the most of opportunities. Honestly. Also shows you, you may as well give it a go. Because from that first play, I thought I was finished. I thought it was going to be a 7-0. Unless they're watching the chat and they're like, trying to give me a... They're like, oh. I'm feeling beads of sweat going down my face now. Hey, if I wanted a request mod, a block design in the game, could I? Ah, <laughs> oh, seven five. This has been a great match. How long left? Thirty seconds. Let's see if I can just keep him at bay for the last bit. Nice. Can still bring it back. Still bring it back. Could still win it. No, I'm out. That is not good. Clear it. Go on. For the win. Great match. Great match. Makes me miss being new at knock, Dusty says. <laughs> Whoa, I've reached platinum. Wow. So what have we got, knock? Uh, so you start with bronze, silver, gold, platinum. Then, uh, I mean, let's have a look on the uh, main menu. I always think it's people saying goodbye, but it's the robot voice. So look here. One, I'm 132 in the world at the moment. I assume all of these stats are all based on just competitive. So when you get to like, um, this is 2v2s. So for weekly wins, oh wow, look, I'm at 49. Wow, I'm on the high scores. I mean, and I'm not saying ahead of PSVR 2 players because I've had it a few more days than everyone else, but I didn't expect to make it up there. But in terms of um, wins, I assume that's only competitive. So we got floor, yeah, the floor. You then got bronze, silver, gold, platinum, ultra, ace, then obsidian. Or is ultra, then ace, and obsidian. Wow, okay, so obsidian is the purple one. On uh, Gamescast Live last night, I kept trying to work out. By the way, is this... Um, 
Is this see-through? <laughs> on, uh, on it. That's awesome. Lucky Miles. <laughs> Adam says, can't wait to finally get my VR2. Honestly, you are in for such a treat. Look, even the main menu does a third-person thing. That's really cool. Um, oh, Ultra is purple. Sorry. And Obsidian. Is Obsidian the green one or is that Ultra? See, I'm just messing everything up. Um, but yeah. Cool. Um, don't forget to hit the like button, everyone. Um, ah, okay. So Ace is green and then black. Okay. Uh, Adam says it's like torture watching VR YouTube creators. Well, just as a, a reminder for everyone, and I, I totally feel for you, man, is um, the reason I do these Let's Plays every week, and sometimes I do some extra ones. I did Hello Neighbor Search and Rescue a couple of days ago, all available on the YouTube channel, um, is because it's all about giving an introduction so even if it's games I've played, I will always take you through the beginning. And I do this for two reasons. One is to give you an introduction. If it's a game that you've never heard of before or maybe have considered, it's to say, look, from the start, this is what you're getting into. But it's also, if you're someone that is, you know, th has been thinking about getting it, starts watching it, and about five minutes in, you're like, I've seen enough. I need to experience this for myself. I don't want any spoilers if it's a story game. I'm going to hit the like button and leave. Totally respect that. This is just to give people an opportunity because there are so many games, despite what some press outlets say, there are so many PSVR 2 titles that are absolutely excellent and it can be hard to choose. I'm very fortunate to be in a position where I get keys from the devs and so I'm dealing with paralysis of choice. So doing Let's Plays helps me because it means that I have motivation to give everything a go and give you my honest impressions. Now, with today... I'm playing a game that I've played many hours of already, so you're not really getting a fresh take. But I am on a journey with this game. I am still learning, and uh, I'm having a wonderful time, and I'm just enjoying seeing myself on, on those charts. We'll do another quick match. Whoa, that was quick. Valentin No Vienna. Right, what do we think, guys? Sweat or noob? I'm going to say sweat, how they're moving. I like this. This ball's um, quite hard to work out sometimes what colour, because it's always changing, but I love it. And for people that uh, haven't played this, um, what do you make of it? What are your thoughts? What are your initial impressions? Look like a good time? Oh, whoops. Right, let's counter. And start concentrating, because this is competitive. Oh, no. Okay, that was weird. I've had that a couple of times today, where it looks like it's, it feels like it's zooming in a bit with the perspective. Also, I think they've nailed it with this game that the competitives are five minutes and casuals are three. Ooh. And by the way, I, I will be watching the uh, live chat afterwards see if I've missed any comments. Also, if you're watching on demand, do... Uh, comment with your thoughts because I do read all the comments and respond to those that I can afterwards and I'm sure the knock team will be coming back to have a look if you have any questions for them as well um, this is all about community and that's what I love about PSVR 2 and, and VR as a whole oh wait what's happened hey are oh, they left I mean a win's a win but these colours. What colours? Oh wait, platinum too. Here we go. I love it when questions are asked and I, I miss them by like a few seconds and then I have no idea what the context is. Um, 
the three Q. I do wonder also if the devs will ever bring in like mini games as well into this, like where it's a giant bull or do you know what they should do for a laugh? They should do like ten v ten, just absolute chaos. <laughs> or deathmatch, where it's like it's it's there's no goals. It's just last one remaining, so it's everyone just trying to red bull into each other. Oh, it's Izzard! Fancy that. Is it I know from the community? He knows I'm streaming, so he's going to try and show me up. Watch this. I don't trust this guy. Uh, and I'm just kind of kidding, by the way. Is it's awesome? tab out of my VR mat, so I, I can't feel it with my left foot. it into the middle. Oh, he's crossed it. Oh. This game just runs so smooth. It just feels great. I know there's a lot of people going, why at the beginning am I not going for the three arrows? I remember when I first played this game, I always was annoyed that you don't start with three arrows, but I actually think it's really good. It's a small little thing. with such a buzz because also you're working so hard for it Ooh. No. and if you don't concentrate that happens okay what's happened to my hand there my hand was not following me that up. <laughs> High five, is it? Good to see you, my friend. Oh, no. That's a bit slow.
<sighs> yeah, hybrid games they're talking about in the chat. So hybrid games are where you... Look at that, 40, 51, 49. It's good. Um, yeah, hybrid games are where you... Um, like um, Resident Evil Village would be a great example. So flat screen game, but also playable in VR. And I just would love to see lots of games come to VR, including Grand Theft Auto Online. Um, how's everyone in the chat? Who, who in the chat is new to my YouTube channel? I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you who stopped by. Uh, the Not community have been amazing, not just in-game, but also um, online. And uh, obviously on Twitter and, and coming across to here and Discord. Everywhere. So ItCat, ItCat and Nobro, good to see you both. Karina, you're new, and you're a mod, and I've known you for a while, so interesting. <laughs> Huge thanks to Karina uh, for modding. Dusty Birch, oh, lots of new people. Honestly, lovely to know you. So, um, yeah, at weekends, I do these Let's Plays, um, and then uh, on Wednesdays, um, an hour, well, actually, what's the time now? Yeah, so at this time on a Wednesday, I do my show in my studio upstairs, and uh, it's more of a chatty hangout. But we sometimes talk about gaming, sometimes have interviews, all sorts. Um, but yeah. Um, Andrew, good to see you here. Scott, good to see you here. Lots of people, good to see you all here. Ooh. I don't know why the ball hasn't appeared yet. Is it because I hadn't moved? That's scaring me. This looks like a horror movie. Look, you're going to go up to it and then it's going to jump scare. Starts breathing heavy. Clip. Wake up. Clip. Clip. Wake up, dude. Wake. Wake up. Clip. Clip, clip, clip. Slap out of it. Hello. Oh, and the load thing has disappeared, so I think I'm going to have to leave. Now, sometimes, this is another glitch I've had sometimes, is your, your bow and arrow disappears. Yeah, look. And you have that. So I just want to show you this to the devs because I'm going to have to hard restart the game. And sometimes when I hard restart, it doesn't actually reappear so I reset the console. Which hopefully isn't going to happen. Because otherwise I'd have to end the stream. Uh, actually, no, I wouldn't necessarily. Um, but yeah, this is a, a glitch that I've been aware of. Um, so let me just... Close the app. Let's fire it back up. High five the bot. Is Jurassic, the Jurassic Park game on the stream list? It is. I was actually designing the thumbnail again uh, today. Design loads of thumbnails and I've got loads more AI. Right, let's have a look. Is it going to give me the bow? No, see, look, there's no bow and arrow. Which means I can't start the game. So, yeah, I just want to flag that up with the devs. I don't know what caused this. I've, I've had this happen before. Which basically means I'm going to have to uh, do a hard restart of the console, which is fine. Because let me just go on main cam for a minute. So you can see me in my room now. Um, whew. Yeah, no worries at all. So let me just uh, restart the console. Whew. How are we all doing? <laughs> see, I thought this was doing um, green screen. It was like hollow that, but it wasn't, yeah. Um, but it's interesting, isn't it, that you hard, like you, you shut down the game completely and then restart it and then it still is an issue. But I'm wondering, is that because when you close down a game, it doesn't fully close it down until you start playing another game because of quick resume? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. All right, everyone. So I'm going to play for maybe another 20 minutes, um, obviously, just because this is quite a high intense game, uh, intensity game. Um, Adam asks in the chat, what is the most positive? And, and just anyone watching, um, I am going to be going back in. I'm just restarting the console. Um, oh, yeah, I need to put the headset back on. There we go. I love the feeling of the rumble in the headset when you turn it on. Um, so Adam was saying, Miles, what is the most positive and negative thing so far for you with PSVR 2? So um, let me just do this.
don't want you to see my code. <laughs> um, yeah, for me, um, yeah, no, no worries, no worries. Um, hey, you want to play? No, bro, if you can find me in the quick play, we can play. We can play, bro. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Um, I love, I just love devs when they look at stuff and go, oh, we think it's because of, it might be that. Um, here we go. It's back. Every time this happens, I can't not dance. And I love this in the ceiling. I wish it went through though and into the sky. <laughs> and also there's active challenges which are gonna come out at some point. So I assume they're gonna be like daily, like XP things you can grind, like score so many goals or high five so many players. I can't wait to get into the top 100. Is there a way that you can see the entire leaderboard? I wish if you shot it, you could then scroll through it. I know I'm throwing you loads of suggestions left, right, and center, um, but yeah, let's go. Quick play. And what's great, by the way, is if you do that, it says what you do. I love that. I love that that voice. I love it. I just love it. It's such a small thing. Oh no, cutie. You're a cutie. <laughs> oh no, it's you, cutie. Oh, so adorable. Um, <laughs> such a, a cool little thing. Um, <laughs> you can clip that. You can clip that. Um, oh, you could hear it, but you couldn't see it, right? <laughs> Should probably go to this. I can't believe that. All that time, I thought you could see. <laughs> and you love the t-shirt. I know, new green screen templates. They're going to have endless fun with that. I'm going to have to show you on the main menu now what I was talking about at the beginning. Let's see if that's going to reset the thing. Oh, it's gone into a match. I'll have to show you afterwards. Where did I get this from? This is from Just Saiyan, which is an amazing t-shirt brand in New Zealand that does... Oh, everyone's going to clip it. We have a clip section on my uh, Discord. But luckily you could hear the music, right? If not, it's going to look even more awkward. Because I can't dance for shit. Right, who am I against here? This is competitive. Let's have a look here. Is it working now? Yeah, we're good. This is the problem when you produce stuff by yourself. You've got to trust the process. And when you do, you dance in front of a green screen. Ooh. Oh, good save. Oh, someone high five me. Come on. There we go. I did put this in front of a green screen now so I know what to show you guys again. But you could hear the game sound, couldn't you? Um, so when I was showing you the keyboard thing, you probably heard it, but was wondering what the hell was it. <laughs> oh, that was close. Man, I am exhausted. No, 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 no. I 
will also timestamp the dance as the uh, non <laughs> green screen off dance. Forty seconds left. This is competitive, right? It's been a long five. Oh, sorry, a quick match. It feels like. Here we go. Crossing it in. Wow. That miss cost me. But I can keep blocking it in. Here we go. Let's finish strong. Ah. Oh. You hope you can beat me one day. Oh, there was no, there was no game chat on the green screen thing. Amazing. Well, in that case, I'm going to show you it all again. Woo. So, out of context, you're probably like, "What was he on about with all those letters and that?" So, let me remember. First things first was I was like, "This music makes me dance, even though I can't." And then I said, uh, this ranking here, this ranking board over here, I was asking, it would be good if you could shoot it and then you could expand it and like look through it all. Or I was asking if the leaderboard was viewable online somewhere, like the full leaderboard. Um, yeah, also knowing sort of like how it's ranked, all sorts of things, it'd be, it'd be really cool to, to know that. Um, and then the other thing I showed, oh yeah, it was this, that if you want to play with friends, you can hit this or that up there, and then you get this cute little thing. And I was saying the voice is amazing. And so the thing I got it to say was... U -Q -T. There we go. I'm sure there's lots of others. But it's... um. Oh, what's that? I love that. It hasn't even... It just does... Seven, six, eight. Who did the voice for this? Four. I'm going to say, five, was it one of two, the devs' little ones? Eight. Nine. <laughs> or was it one of you putting a voice on? The full top 100 players for 1v1 and 2v2 can be found in our Discord. Oh, that's great. No, bro says, it was me. It was me. There is also a role for the top player of the weekly wins leaderboard. Oh, wow. That's cool. I am on, I am on their Discord. Well, it is really, really, really good. Right, how are we doing for time? Cool. Maybe time for one, maybe two more. Woo. Oh, yeah, and I was also saying this I love, and I just wish you could shoot into the sky fully. But, yeah. Woo. And I love this news board. There's so much I like. I wish there was a way to access the track listing, because otherwise you have to like go through it that way. There's ten tracks. They're all amazing. That's cool. And also you can add bots to your team as well when you're playing with friends. And if you want to join people, you get your party code like that and that is how you join. Um, I assume that means people can join now, which obviously I wouldn't want. So is there actually a way of turning off the party code? I don't know. That's a good question, actually. That was one I was going to check before I did the live stream. Oh, it's off, is it? It also has an Easter egg. What, what has an Easter egg? You see, I'm competitive. I can be. It's nice to have something to grind for. Ah, the KB. Who am I against? Ah.
Is, am I playing no bro? No, I'm not playing no bro. I'm playing bro Tato. That I think might be his cousin. Missing them all. But here we go. Mess that up. No, and I definitely messed that up. A legacy block, I just noticed. And what I mean by that, it's a block that I don't think you can get anymore, but it's from original players. Can't believe I'm messing that up. Uh, that dance I did on the green screen, you're welcome to use that in any of your future trailers. But I can't be held responsible if it causes a decrease in sales or damage to your reputation. Yeah, true. <laughs> season 10. Uh, or, or level 10 in the season, I mean. Right, let's have a look now. Um, you know what? Let's just open this up now. I, d I mean, I don't know if, it, if anyone can join. Do I have to? This party code. Can everyone use it? Gotcha. So, so spec cam stops people from being able to join you, right? That's interesting. Cool, so it's 5C9D6. We'll do three players and then we'll do a um, 3v3.
Thank you, Nock, for putting that in the chat. Yay! Good to see you here. Oh, it's turned my character around a bit. <laughs> right, let's get one more in. Who's going to be next? Can I actually edit who's in the... I assume you can kick people out. It's it, Cat. Welcome. We're going in now. Uh, it, Cat, do you want to join us down here? Or are you staying up there? <laughs> legs. What's the maximum amount of players per team? It's three. So you can have four people join, but then you have to do a custom match. I don't know if you can do quick play actually, and it'll fill with other people. I'm not too sure about that. Oh. There we go. Maybe, maybe it will. What is it cat doing? <laughs> Weekly wins. Oh wow, I've just been taken over by uh, another PSVR2 player. You can have six people in your party. Oh, you can, yeah? Oh yeah, it cat is number one. Sound chase I played with a lot. So yeah, it cat is. Uh, oh, and ranked number one. So um, what happened to uh, Reckless? So it cat is gonna completely. There we go. Reckless. Okay, Reckless is just two v two. Yeah. Amazing. So we are in the presence of royalty, which seems like an excellent way to end this. End this stream with a. Uh, Final, final match. Oh no, I'm, I'm gonna be. Uh, well, I will be humiliated, but it'll be by people on my own team, so I'm, I'm totally comfortable with that. Shifu, I almost played as, but then they quit straight away. And I love that that they have here credits. That's cool. There's Tom. Tom I've had many conversations with. Top dude. Still searching, still searching. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it's it's put us into this. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. We're against. It's casual three v three. Right. I want a nice clean fight. Oh, and bro, Tato's back. This is going to be, look at it, you watch this. They're just going to be... <laughs> this is something else. And actually, this time you're actually able to see what sweats are like from my perspective. It's just unbelievable. Look, they've given up. They're like... <clears throat> I want to know what the fastest 7-0 win in the world is. Every time I go to hit, I'm just not anticipating the direction. I mean, it is just hard to do. And also, 3v3 is absolutely manic. It's 
just like... It's like the ball spends more time. It's like it's upside down with gravity. Oh, it crashed! Oh! That is such a shame. That is such a shame. We'll do... We'll go back in. We'll go back in. They're going to think I quit. Do you know what it was? I think it just couldn't cope. 20110, if they come back. <laughs> the, hey, welcome back. It Cat is probably holding their own 1v3 and winning. Hey, Kira, good to see you here. What is the code? The code is 20110. Someone can type that in the chat. It's a new code now, 20110. Great. Hey! Right. Quick match. This will be the last one. God, I'm hungry. I've already had dinner. This is what this game does to you. But I've got some chocolate muffins and I've also got some nice tea. And some nice decaf. And so I think after this I'm going to go upstairs, open all the windows, have a nice comforting decaf tea, some chocolate muffins, and then... Uh, continue working on some uh, thumbnails for future Let's Plays. What the next Let's Play is going to be, well, next weekend I'm actually going to be on vacation. So, um, might have to do it on a Friday or something. But I think the next big Let's Play I'm doing, I might do two in the week, but um, the next big Let's Play is going to be Cosmo Dread, which is a. Oh, I don't want to play it. I'm really bad in horror games. It's the fact that it cat just stays in the air the whole time. What is this? How? How is it cat doing this? Look. Is it just doing that? I don't know. Look. How is it cat doing that? Yeah, I want to know this. Because this looks like a pro strat. Is it every time you hit the ball you can jump again? Yeah, yeah. Rightly said. When playing knock, make sure you drink plenty and eat as if it was exercise. Yeah. I have been. This is just creeping me out. What is it with this long body? What is this? I didn't know I was playing with Slender Man. I guess you hold the grip button so you fall down slower. Ice cream would be nice. He's using forbidden jiu-jitsu ju 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 in the OG days. Right, Bacon Donut Taco. What a great name. Here we go. My accuracy is going to be like 2% if I'm lucky. Right, let's see if we can win this before it crashes again because of all your ridiculous fast playing. <laughs> I love the beginning, don't. Oh, that's how you do it. <laughs> oh no, they're leaving. Don't leave. See, I respect people that will stick around to the end. Look at this. 
Asia. All this building Disneyland in the sky. Okay, bacon donut. I didn't actually see who was that. Okay, what was that? Oh. We won by uh, scaring the crap out of them. Because you guys are too good. Right, let's see if we can get up there. <gasps> no! <laughs> All right, you two. Uh, huge, huge thank you. Uh, it Cat, thank you very much. And uh, Salamander Z, thank you very much. Yep, you are still freaking me out. <laughs> like that. <laughs> thank you very much. So, with that said, everybody. It is time to wrap things up. Woo! Let me just get the chat up one last time. Let me take this off. Are you ready for some... True VR hair. True VR hair. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! It was really, really good. Um, look, I want to say a huge thank you to Normal, uh, Knock, the whole team, Tom, uh, for giving me the key for playing it the last week. I'm having an absolute blast, as you would see. Um, and I want to say a huge thank you to everyone in the chat who hung out uh, on this Saturday. Um, really appreciate it. Karina, Mods, thank you very much for all the hard work you do. And also, Salamander and ItCat and all the players that I played with tonight, some of whom may have been tapped on the shoulder by a friend and they said, hey, we saw you on this Let's Play. Uh, destroying Miles or being destroyed by Miles or having a competitive match with Miles. Um, huge love to you all. This is why I love this community. Um, we get to have a good time. And yeah, the power level, over 9,000. Um, I'm going to end it there. So, yep. Uh, Miles Die Live returns on Wednesday. It's going to be a very special show. Uh, I'm going to be somewhere awesome, which I can't talk about until I'm there. Uh, so you want to make sure that you tune in. So be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about all future videos. And the next Let's Play, unless I do an extra one in the week, is going to be Cosmo Dread. And I'm going to have my heart monitor set up. And I'm not looking forward to it because... You know what I'm like with horror. And my most watched Let's Play was Resident Evil Village, where my swear counter went above the uh, heart counter. <laughs> so with all that said and done, uh, I want to wish you uh, a great rest of your week or whatever you're doing, whenever you're watching this. Uh, be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section because I do read them afterwards. Hit the like button. Tell your fellow friends about this channel. Um, I always, always appreciate the support. And as Nox says, please do join the Discord uh, which is Empathy Arcade. And if you're a Knock player, join the Knock Discord. It's called Knock On Air, and I'm sure they'll put a link to theirs as well. Um, huge thank you to everyone. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time.